two, three, fuck it. Good afternoon everyone, it's Garrett and in today's tutorial we're going to actually take a step back into After Effects CC. Really awesome program that everyone should know, download and learn about. So in today's tutorial we're going to go over a text animation, a kind of cool scribble effect. So really quickly I'm going to show you the best example that I have that really made me want to learn this whole entire style itself. If you guys have ever heard of Phase Has, he did a gaming setup a couple months back. And basically he had this cool kind of scribble text that popped up in the front just like this that kind of had a distorted feel to it and i personally thought that it was one of the coolest things that i've ever seen a lot of people in vlog started doing it so i'm gonna make a tutorial on it and the first things first i want to say is shout out to baker tuts for making the preset that we're going to be using today's tutorial you guys can go down that download that in the description below it's a really awesome preset it really makes everything a lot easier for us to do all you have to do is drag it onto the text and you guys are basically set so first things first again is we want to go is hop over to defont.com. Actually the description below also have this link you guys can download the surfing capital font. Basically it's the font that we're going to be using for today's tutorial. I really like this font a whole lot. It has a cool kind of watercolor feel to it and it looks really really good with this whole entire distortion effect. So definitely go download this and a little warning for the Windows users. I kind of look past this whole entire caution. Definitely pay attention to it. All you have to do is right click and install it. Don't double click the font file. It will crash your whole entire Windows font viewer. Just a little heads up. But basically, once you download the whole entire, you know, preset thing, you're going to get the scribble animation. Just bring it onto your desktop and we're going to have to install it first. So all you have to do is basically click right here and go to your C drive or your um, regular hard drive, wherever you put your program files, go to Adobe and then go to your Adobe After Effects CC 2017, your support files, scroll down to see presets, and then you wanna right click right here in the bottom, make a new folder and call it custom presets. So basically after you do that, all you have to do is actually double click on here and then just drag in your scribble animation straight into here and then you guys are basically set. So open up After Effects after you got all of that done and uh, you can make a new composition just basically new composition make sure the width and height is 1920 by 1080 um for seconds and the duration we don't really have to mess with that too much we can put 10 seconds just for the tutorial and click ok so now that we have this we do want to make a background first so just go to layer new and then go to solid you can just make it regular gray and then go over here to your effects and presets type in gradient and just click on the four color gradient and drag it onto your solid. So really quickly before we start editing colors, just click on it right here and put it to like third. You don't have to have this up all the way just because it's going to kill your computer, um, CPU and memory. Just something that I like doing is dropping that quality down a little bit. And just take your colors and just start messing with these kind of colors that you'd like to put. And uh, you don't have to do this. However, it's just really nice to work on colors that you personally like rather than seeing the same colors. I'm going to leave it like this. You can take the blend up a little bit more and the jitter jitter you know makes it a little more noisy or you can bring it down doesn't really matter opacity always at 100 so now that we have this we do want to head back over to our project and then i'm going to go ahead and actually bring in my new logo so i'm just going to drag and drop that into the documents just so i have it for when i start doing my cool effects to it so really real quickly we want to do this with text to basically show you guys how it works so all you have to do is click right here in the middle and then type in the word that you'd like to use. For this video, I'm gonna be using the word tutorial. And then all we have to do is highlight the whole entire thing and then go right here to the fonts, type in C-A-P, or excuse me, S-U-R-F, which is gonna be surfing capital. I thought it was surfing captain. But all we have to do now is basically take the font size up a little bit and what I like doing with this especially is keeping the VA only at 199. We don't want to make it too close because it's going to take away from that cool kind of distortion effect. So like I said guys, just leave it on like third or even not quarter. It's just really not going to kill your PC. It's just totally not worth it. So all you want to do now is click effects and presets. Click out of that gradient and then type in scribble. So once we type in scribble, this right here is going to be a custom preset. It's going to say scribble animation. And all we have to do actually is drag it and drop it onto the tutorial text. And then we are set, believe it or not. There's a bunch of kind of displacements and turbulent displace right here. I would totally leave that alone. Um, Baker is a really good editor and I have 100% faith in them that these are correct. So you're going to click these arrows down, 
make sure they're all the same. You guys can mess with them if you want to learn how it's made. However, I do like leaving it alone. And now all you have to do is go to your preview and then click right here at the play slash stop. And then it'll basically, you know, play it for you very quickly. And you guys can see that it has that kind of wavy effect to it. And it's very nice to kind of look and it's very attractive. So that's adding it to text, which is really cool for like intros and stuff like that. Or maybe like a lower third or even like a vlog intro. I'm not too sure what you guys are doing with this kind of stuff. However, if you guys do want to add it to your logo, let's say that you want to make a kind of cool watermark. All you really have to do is drag your logo into the document and you can make it any color you like. Um, personally, I don't really care. Let's say I'm going to keep my logo gray. Go to effects and presets. Just drag that scribble animation onto the logo. Go to preview and then click the play button. And then even my logo has on it. So let's just say that this is all you want to do and uh, you have a cool background going on. However, you do want to add it to the background and you don't want to do it to each individual layer. Go to layer new and then go to adjustment layer and the same thing. Go to effects and presets and then drag and drop that scribble animation on here and we can just type in, you know, SAS. Don't know what that stands for, but uh, click preview and then make sure this is above or below the adjustment layer. And then once we play it, the whole entire logo will have it and the text and whatever else is below that adjustment layer. So something that you guys do want to look into is definitely something like this. It's really awesome to do and it's really fun and it's very easy. So definitely go check it out. Make sure to go download that preset in the description below. If you guys did enjoy this After Effects tutorial, it's very easy, very basic, but has a very cool effect to it. Definitely let me know in the comment section below. You guys really enjoyed that logo reveal I did in After Effects. I hope this video does as good or even better. So like always guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to leave a comment on the video if you guys have lasted this long. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and share this to your friends. Let me know on Twitter how you guys enjoyed everything. And other than that guys, I'll see you guys in my later on videos. Peace out.